What's up, guys? This is the Crypto Market Update. It's Friday, July 28th. It's 12.20 p.m. And let's dive straight into it. So the bond yields right now, let's take a look. So we go to the 12-hour chart. Right now, we're getting rejected by that 786 here. So from the high down to the low here, you can see clear rejection at that 786. It's exactly what we wanted to see. So we want to press down here. We take this trend line like that. Then we'll probably come down, retest this, and then we'd want to see a break for the bond yield to come down a bit. Then if we look at the dollar, so the dollar had a, a solid rebound yesterday. We go to the four hour chart and we pulled back earlier this morning. And you can see the momentum starting to die off and we have hidden bearish divergence you see a low and a lower low i'm sorry a, a high here and a lower high just like a high here and a lower high like i said in the video yesterday it seems to me we're on we're on the brink it it's like july 7th compared to now july 27th july 28th you can see that we had a high lower high and then a low then a low here just above the zero line in the TSI, we pop up, lower high, we curl over. As soon as we go below the zero line, it's game on. It's game on. Um, that's equivalent to this right here, this action. So this high, and then we came down. Then we have this lower high right here. And then we rolled over, it got below the zero line, we tanked. This time, we have our high here. We have a higher high, but actually a lower high in the TSI bearish divergence and then uh, we're, we're getting ready to, to cross below the zero line and it looks to me that we're going to tank in the dollar and that's going to be hugely beneficial to crypto uh, that's a great sign right there if we go to the weekly chart since it's friday yeah and we have the stock rsi is still headed down this is what we want to see and if we can have a, a mean press down in the dollar today where the dollar ends up turning red on this candle and then we see the bodies below these lows over here, these lows, oh my God, it's going to be huge as far as the dollar meltdown and the crypto pop up. So that's 100% on the radar. If we look at the stock market still chugging along, we look at the total crypto market cap. Let's go to it for our chart. So we're holding up this, this market structure here. We have this horizontal line like that. And then we have this trend line coming up like this. And then we have this trend line coming down. And we're staring at the moment, you know, we could break up from here and just rapidly fire up, especially if we're looking at and taking into account the dollar. And then we, we're right below the zero line. We had the four hour chart. We we're going to cross down and said, nope, we had some green come in and now we're heading up towards that zero line, ready to pop through it. It's huge. It's huge. And then that 12 hour chart is getting ready to cross up as well, too. So looks like the, uh, the, the correction that we had is over and we're going to ready getting ready to really press up here what we really want to see is a 12 hour chart that cross up and then the stock rsi get through that 50 line and it's through it right now but we want to see it continue to go up then if we go to the altcoin market cap we're still holding that trend line from back here in june early june and then if we go to this trend line coming down so we'll take this and it looks like we're getting we broke out it looks like we really broke out. Yep, we did. So we have this trend line coming down. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Just a couple hours ago, we broke out of this. Um, so this is a great sign. And we just want to see follow through. So if we go to the six hour chart, we're starting to cross up. We want to get above that zero line. If we can get above that zero line, we're good in the six hour chart. Because looking back to July 11th, that's when we got above. And that's when we saw that news come out with XRP and XLM firing off. So very, very positive right now. And I think we're going to see the same thing. I think we're not done yet. If we go to the 12 hour chart. Yeah. If we can just cross up right now, we'll be above the zero line. We can cross up and we can do it all over again. July 11th. We're right where we're at comparative to now. We cross up and that's what gave us that boost in XRP and XLM. Then if we go to the altcoin season pulse chart, we have this trend line coming up and we're, we're, staring at the edge you know we're we're hanging on by a thread and it's just going to take one little pop down and this is gonna this is what's gonna fire up the altcoins so uh, there we go so yep so this stretches all the way back bring it back to here but let's match it up like this and we're as soon as we melt down from this um point that we're at that's when we see the alts go off if we look at Bitcoin dominance, we're breaking through that, that critical key support. So we broke through it. And if we see follow through and we see this 
waterfall down, it's game on. We're, we're about to see it. You can start to see it. Uh, let's go to the daily chart. Yep. We're seeing this rapidly fall. We're seeing the momentum's not there, but the momentum is to the downside. We go to the three day chart. We're seeing the momentum to the downside. The one week chart, momentum, we just crossed down, just crossed down. And uh, we see the stock RSI through that 50 line. And really, like, once we see this pink go below the 50 line, that's when we are for real melting down. Because look at back here. When the pink was above the 50 line, but then when it went below, when we saw the blue cross above the 50 line, that was the waterfall moment and the the alt season of 2021. And we had that same similar kind of three mountaintops. Three mountaintops were coming down to complete the mountaintop and come down like this. So we're about a week, week or two away for this to really accelerate. But we're in the early stages right now, but um, we're, we're here, we're here. So it's gonna probably come down like this, go sideways and then melt down like that. Then if we go to Bitcoin on the right side and then the dollar on the left side, Bitcoin needs to see that 12 hour stock RSI cross up through the 50 line there. Um, we went up to it, but haven't quite, quite crossed up through it yet. The TSI needs to cross. We haven't done it yet. And the MACD needs to flip green. If we can see that, then we'll we'll be good to go. But until then, we got to remain cautious. Uh, if we go to the signals here, yep, we got them on. Do we have no no 12 hour prepare to buy soon yet? Let's go to the nine hour chart. Nope, 11 hour. Nope, let's go to a lower time frame, like four hour prepare to buy soon and buy now. We got it. But really, we need to get above that $29,500 level because we take that high down to this low. 29,557 is a 786 here. If we can break up through that, then it's likely we're gonna come up, retest 30K again, and it's critical for us to get above 30K, hold that support. Um, because if all, all that happens with Bitcoin, while Bitcoin dominance is falling, while the dollar is falling, and while the bond yields are stable are falling, um, while the altcoin season pull chart is breaking down, then we're gonna see these altcoins fire up. And that's the moment we're waiting for. If we go to, the weekly chart with Bitcoin on the right side, we need to see some movement come in so we avoid this cross down. We wanna see this start to cross up here, like this. We don't wanna see it cross down for Bitcoin. It's kinda of like we did a reset. Like looking back to the December, 2022, January, it's like we're making the same stock RSI movements from back then, like where we come down, come down, we pop up, come down a little bit, pop up, come down a little bit, little bit. And then once we can fire up and really head vertical in the stock RSI, that's going to be our like January uh, moment for Bitcoin where it fires up, but we're staring at it. We're very close. And uh, if we take a look at Litecoin, it looks like it's getting ready to press up right now as we speak. And I think it's going to pull the big move. I'm, you know, I'm not giving up on Litecoin. We're very close to that that uh, having event. So I think it's still going to do a, a nice solid pump. So I'm still trying to catch that. Um, looks like it's going to start popping today. XLM looking great as far as the USD and compared to Bitcoin. And I think XLM is going to go on another one as well too. So if we go to the six hour chart, we had a prepare to buy soon buy now. We go to the 12 hour chart, nothing there. Let's go to the one day though. Do we have momentum? If we can see the stock RSI get above that 50 line, then we're golden. We'll be golden to go on another big run. And if I throw up the fifth fork, actually, you know what? I'm going to do an XLM specific video and an XRP specific video today. And we're going to go through all those chart pairings. So I'll get those recorded. I'll push those out separate. This will just be a general market update. But so far, so good. Bond um, yields pulling down. The dollar is pulling down. We want to see it continue. Stock market chugging along. Total crypto market cap at a breakout moment. Altcoin market cap already broke out. We want to see it continue. Altcoin season pull chart heading down, which is positive. Bitcoin dominance heading down, which is positive. Bitcoin staying relatively stable and starting to press up here. And we really just need to get it back above that 30K. Then, um, yeah, so we'll leave it at that. And then my eyes are on Litecoin to still catch that move. So that's going to be it for today's general market update, guys. And I will release an XLM specific and an XRP specific update today to see if we're still on track. So I'll see you guys in the Discord and in the next video.